In this lesson, I will show you how you can create a static page as your homepage. As you can see right now, we have a homepage which is displaying our latest posts. And this is how our homepage would look if we decided to create a static homepage. And to create a static homepage, you would have to go to your dashboard. And first of all, you would have to create a new page. So go to the pages and click add new. Don't add any title to this page and just add elements which you want to be displayed in your homepage. So as you can see, I just finished adding elements and this is how my homepage is going to look. So the first block is a cover block. Uh, I found it right here, just like any other block. This section is made out of two columns. So the first column is with image. The second column has a header, paragraph and a button. And I added some spacer again. And just like that, I created all other sections. So once you have added information, you shouldn't add title right here. But once you click on this section, uh, you will see that this window pops up so you want to click edit and add home once you have finished this you can click save and we can preview how our home page is going to look once you click right here as you can see this is how it would look and if you are fine with the look we can go back and publish this page so if everything is fine you can click right here and publish right here you should see a button which says publish also if you want you can do some layout changes as you remember in customization settings we turned off the sidebar for our pages but actually we can turn on a sidebar for each individual page so right here in this section we can turn on the sidebar we can select select right sidebar and to see how it would look you would have to click publish or update and now we can click preview so as you can see this is how our home page would look so we have this page and we have to set this page as our home page but before we can do that we should go to dashboard and we need to create another page which will be named blog so let's go to pages let's click add and this time we can add the title and right here you don't need to add anything at all and once you have finished doing this just click publish all right let's go back and as you can see right now we have two new pages the one which doesn't have title will be our home page and the second page blog will be used to display our blog post so we have to do some changes in settings section and you have to select reading you probably already remember this section from the previous lesson uh, here we can change our home page from the latest post to a static and for our home page we will have to select a page which doesn't have any title and for blog posts we would have to select a page which we named blog so we can save changes and let's go to our home page as you can see this is how our home page is going to look so instead of displaying the latest post it's going to show us a static page but actually we have to do some changes in the footer area as you remember for this section we used a widget which was called pages and by default this widget displays all available pages and right now as you can see this is our home page and it's being displayed right here we could leave a blog but we should remove this page so for example let's say we're gonna click on blog and as you can see we have the latest posts in the blog section and we used to have this look as our home page before and as i said we should remove this page so to do that we should go to our dashboard and we should go to appearance section and click on widgets so as you remember that widget of pages is in the second section of our footer right here pages and we can exclude pages but we need a page id to do this so how to find a page id you should go to pages let's click all pages and this is our home page it doesn't have any title and you should click on edit and once you do this you will see this link and this is your id this is the number it says post equals 204 so 204 is our ID and we want to copy it so let's go back to widget section and now we have to go to the footer 2 and in pages widget we have to paste this number once you know page ID you can exclude as many pages as you want all you have to do is just add comma and add other ID so once you have done this just click save and let's go back to our home page and let's go to our footer and as you can see uh, the page was excluded it's not being displayed anymore so yeah this is how you can create a static page as your home page it's completely up to you if you want to display a static page or you want to show the latest post to your visitors